Hello everyone, so this video is a bonus video and then I just want to talk about the few brushes that we copy over today uh, which is created by me. So the I am Bevel Curve, I am Bevel for Off, so this two. Sorry, just let me uh, highlight it for you guys. So I am Bevel Curve and then these three triangle brushes. Okay, so I'm gonna go through a little bit of what they do and uh, it's like a bonus video. and. Uh, so to talk about that, I just want to show you my this uh, folder here. So under tutorials, shoulder guide sg tutorials underscore sg, you have this uh, full page document. So it's just a tutorial from two thousand fifteen by Nikita, uh, this artist Nikita, and uh, you can see a lot of good information from here, and you can understand how to create a character. Just gonna show some high res images. Okay, so it looks pretty nice. And then I just want to focus on this shoulder guard here. Okay, so how do we do um this kind of nice uh, areas like this? And then on his uh, tutorial, it was mentioned this. You know, so 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 Nikita actually created a a uh, edge loop, and then he has this. I am brush that creates a curve like this. Okay, so I kind of listened to what he say and I create recreated this brush on my own. And um, so that's one of the things you can do as an artist as well, you know, to, to, because not everyone will put up their I am brush to share with others. But uh, you look at their content, you un analyze how to do it, and then you'll be able to create a brush yourself. Okay, but I'm not going to go through how to create a brush. You can. Maybe uh, look it up yourself how to create your own eye, eye and brush if you're interested. But I'm just gonna show you um, how I how we can use that as our brushes. All right. So uh, this he is able to create this kind of brushes and then follow the edges and then it just sits on the on the shoulder guard on the sphere kind of shape. And then you know the rest of the stuff. How can we do it? You know, like uh, we, you already know what what needs to be done. The outside area of the shoulder guard and then a separate separate geometry so that we can do different uh, surface noise to different areas if needed and then some of this you know it could be just mass and then extract it's as simple as that so so a lot of things you already learned at this point so it's a matter of how you are able to apply them nicely so for example this edge use polish or trim dynamic or just bev to get the beveled edge effect and uh, when you when you create the uh, extract of the area you make it try to make it as nice as possible so different things like this so you should be able to try to understand and interpret that for your own model now okay so i would uh, demonstrate using this uh, shoulder plate that we have created and also this sphere okay so i let me go through the first one um i m m bevel curve okay so so i m bevel curve creates a curve like this okay so the so we can also turn it around, make it into different shapes. And if you want to make it a bit more curvy, you can also do so. So once you are happy with it, you split a mass point and then you delete the point. Okay, then you can control it separately. So let's try the next one. I'm and then bevel curve and then it says fall off. So what does the fall off mean? It just means that it has a better fall off effect here. So instead of me going to brush and or strokes to adjust the properties, uh, I just create a separate brush, a duplicate of the similar one, and then just have one with a stronger fall off effect. Okay, so if you are interested to having these kind of shapes for your modeling, no matter for what type of modeling, so you can do so. So maybe you can create something like this. Okay, so three I must point delete. Okay, so this is uh I am curve, this I am fall off. And then uh, this is I am M H triangle. So I created all this and then uh, under each of this I am brush there's uh further brushes that you can choose from. So it's just the height is a little bit different. So the width is a little bit different, so I just want to share with that with you. So each I am brushes has different heights as well. Okay, so let me go back to this. So the can tell the shape 
the width and the height is all a bit different. So 4 means the height is 4, 2 means the height is 2, 6 means the height is 6. So it's the 6 will be higher than 4. So when you see from the side, this is 6 and this is 4. And this is 0. So 0 will be not so high. So if you go to the side view, it will be very thin. Okay, so next brush is uh, far off. So it just fall off. So it's the same brush, but it falls off. And the height and the width is the same. The last one, this one. Okay, so this one, the uh, the edge is more skewed to one side, so if you're curious uh, what's happening is that it's not that symmetrical compared to the rest. So the previous tree is more symmetrical. So that's the only difference when I created it. If not, uh, it's pretty much the same. So you can say that uh, this is more balanced, whereas this one, the last one that I use is not as balanced. Oh, it could be. Yep, so I hope you understand how to kind of use it on a curve. So if I were to use it on my shoulder guard itself, it can work too. So I will open up my shoulder guard, go to this main base layer. You know, maybe I can use, I feel like using the bevel one, you know. Bevel. Level 3 maybe, level 3 and maybe I can create a curve like this. So if I want to make some uh, more, maybe more curvy or elf kind of patterns sorry I was trying to browse to this I can do so So if I want to make patterns that is more like this I can do that here using some of these brushes. So in actual application, I can uh, split our mass points, and then I can just you know keep keep some areas that I want to use, and I may not need to use everything. Just I point delete hidden close hole, kind of thing, and then just try to fit it to the end. Something like that, you know, I think you get what I mean. So that's one pattern, and then maybe I can do another pattern with a triangle. I want to do one with a fourth, just use one that is standard shape. And if I want to change the uh, change it to a different height, I can just use this click on it. So when I Click on it, it will change the height and uh, change my IMM to be this one with the number 4 height. So, split MS point, delete hidden. Yeah, I can put this in here. And maybe I shouldn't on my outside guard when I was doing this. So, I can hide this inside there a little bit better. So quite a lot of uses for all these different brushes and I hope you you'll find an application for this yeah so so it's just a new tool and uh, there's a lot of users limited by your creativity that's all you just do one more before I finish So I can create this one, this one with a four like this. Do another one. Looks too organic, the one with a four. So maybe I'll just change it up. <laughs> I 
Yep. So after these things are being uh, split into different points, maybe you can also consider giving it a subdivision value. So if I press Ctrl D, you see, it subdivides once. So the subdivision is heavier. It's, it becomes smoother a little bit. Just press Ctrl D once. And then maybe that's what you want. You can also do that. Ctrl D once. If not, I actually like how this uh, shape creates the two faces like this. Just so just a regular triangle and on a curve and uh, does so many things in ZBrush itself. So I hope you would be able to understand the potential of that. So see, now with so much patterns going, I feel like I'm kind of getting to this style right now already. You know, so so it could it could be something that works for us to create an elf armor helmet shoulder guard in that aspect. Okay, so hopefully you like this video. Okay, and then I'll see you uh, next time. Bye bye.